Most people don't know this, but the Eero app doesn't actually let you flat out choose 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz like you would on some older router setups. It's kind of like asking a Tesla to let you pump gas into it. Doesn't work that way. Eero uses something called band steering, which basically auto assigns your devices to either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz depending on what it thinks is best. This sounds helpful, until it isn't especially when you're trying to connect a smart device that only works on 2.4 gigahertz. Like you'll try to set up your smart light bulb or older security camera, and it fails a hundred times in a row. You start thinking the thing is defective, or your Wi-Fi is broken, when really it just needs a dumber signal. The fix? It's weirdly hidden. What you have to do is use the Eero app to temporarily pause the 5 gigahertz band. This forces your network into 2.4 gigahertz mode, allowing those picky devices to finally connect, which feels like tricking your router into being stupid for five minutes. Fun. Open up your Eero app, tap Discover at the bottom menu, then choose Troubleshooting. Inside that, there's a hidden gem labeled My Device Won't Connect. Tap that. A button will appear to temporarily disable five gigahertz. That's your golden ticket. Once you tap it, the router will kick into 2.4 gigahertz only mode for 10 minutes. Yep, there's a timer. The router kind of assumes you're panicking and want to do this in a quick, mad dash. You'll need to get your device connected within that time window. Make sure the new device is nearby. Don't try this from across the house. The 2.4 gigahertz band can travel further, but setup is still smoother closer to the router. Once connected, your smart device should remember the network's credentials even after 5 GHz comes back. Now, it's worth saying, this isn't meant to be done daily. It's not a long-term solution to forcing 2.4 GHz on certain devices. It's just a bridge, a temporary detour into low bandwidth town. Eero will always revert to full auto mode afterward. People ask, why doesn't Eero just let you separate the SSIDs like old routers do? Because their whole philosophy is simplicity. One network name, one password, no split juggling. But that simplicity makes it really annoying for niche users with legacy tech. Here's a pro tip most people don't realize. If you're still having trouble after enabling 2.4 GHz temporarily, try enabling airplane mode on your phone, then turning Wi-Fi back on. This clears any cached junk and helps your phone also grab the 2.4 GHz band cleanly. I had a friend in Lake Oswego spend an entire Sunday trying to connect a garage door opener that only needed a 2.4 gigahertz signal. He thought it was defective. We did the Eero trick and it worked in two minutes. A classic case of network intelligence becoming unintentionally dumb. Look, routers are now smarter than ever, but that doesn't mean they always make the right choices. Especially when your coffee maker from 2017 is trying to connect like it's still the Stone Age. Eero's workaround exists for a reason. Use it like a utility knife. Once you've connected your tricky smart device, you can go back to living your life. The next time a friend says, my smart bulb won't connect, you can smugly say, ah, you just need to trick the network into going caveman mode. I got you.